And welcome back to New Game Plus on Piano 3! Next mission, go! Shot. Oh, that's some good stuff. Soda. Soda's revenge. I mean, um. <laughs> Kinda of hard to hear over here, too. Yeah. So, um... I'm not turning the AC off. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's hot as freaking... It's hot as the freaking desert that Vanessa's apparently in right now. It's hot as Vanessa herself. I mean, um... I like that because I had to clean outside the restaurant today. And, uh... It was actually during a time of day when it was very nice out. Ah. It wasn't... It wasn't really humid or really that hot. And there was... I think there was a cool breeze when I was outside, too. Mm. I nice. dread the day I have to clean up outside the restaurant and it's as hot as it is, it is right now or hotter. What about when it's, like, cold as outside? Yeah. Well... I'll bring a winter coat with me to the restaurant, that's for sure. Okay. Oh, speaking of restaurants... Oh, um... You know, there's one Taco Bell I go to sometimes. I was there today because it's right across the street from the lot. Right across from the laundry mat we're currently using since our washing machine is currently on the fritz again. This one Taco Bell has a sign by the restaurant that says, We check the restrooms every 30 minutes. And I was like... Yes, because the food you serve means you have to check the restrooms every 30 or so minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what? E. Well, I guess my new damage clear. Oh, well. Good thing I have these fully upgraded suits. I, did I get that? Did, did you pick that up, microphone? I hope you picked up that belch, because I'm sure everyone wanted to hear that. I know I did! And that's dead. Boomity kabloomity. So, um... Ow. I hate these things! Did I... me or they almost look like biplanes. Yeah, they do. They look like biplanes. That's hilarious. Now I'm just imagining them making sa biplane sounds. Oh. They, they look kind of stupid. <laughs> They're one of the dumber looking enemies in this game, I think. Yes, I do agree. The irises aren't all that interesting. Or the irises are rather stupid looking. We're not making that joke. <laughs> and now Vanessa's probably thinking, do you have any idea how long it's going to take to wash all the sand out of my hair? Or anywhere else? What? Whoa, 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 enough with the lasers already. He's probably thinking the same thing. He's like, why was I not programmed to dodge? <laughs> whoa. It's a great thing that they tip you off right before they're gonna shoot. Yeah. It's like, hmm, glowy spot on the cannon. That can only mean one thing. Party lasers! Time for you to fly! Ah! There wasn't, mm, like... I was up against the wall. Yeah, I was gonna say, that. where were you gonna go? Unless I could... Do like a do a jump to the right or something. But alas, I can't. Yeah. Alas, I'm alas. Hey, a well, that's ass. news to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, in the game. Oh yeah, in the game. Yes. Well, that's not news to me. <laughs> oh. Vanessa is alas. She's got oh. a great ass. I need to finish Daredevil. 
the um, the show that's on Netflix. Ah, uh, it's really good. It's it's, definitely better than the movie. Yeah, it's also much more violent than the movie. And the movie had an old lady choking to death. That was actually was that really that bad? I mean, it was pretty like what the fuck, but uh. That was pretty fucked up. But. Yeah, it was kind of fucked up, but it wasn't like crazy violent. Ow! Hey, the only one allowed to penetrate Vanessa is me. I mean, oh, wait, what? <laughs> do 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 do. Thirty-six hundred. Um. Yeah. Long loading sequence. <laughs> Woo! One thing that Dare the, the Daredevil show on Netflix doesn't have that the movie had, which I feel like the movie was a bit more like the comic in this regard, was like Daredevil in the in the show. I mean, he, he does, you know, he does acrobatics and stuff like that, but mostly in combat. Like, I think, okay, I don't know the original comic that well, but wouldn't he be able to, like, move between buildings with, like, a whip or something? Yeah, his cane has, like, some kind of corded Batman-style whip yeah. thing. <laughs> you should be called Batman! <laughs> no, I'm Daredevil. <laughs> Did he ride on a motorcycle and do stunts? No, that's his thing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ghost Rider. <laughs> I'm a former daredevil who literally sold his soul to the devil. That's how I got the name. Ghost, Ghost Rider! Rider. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, in the movie, they actually show him doing that, like, moving between buildings by, like, uh, you know, with a whip grapple hook like thing. And then maybe somebody was like, that's Batman and Spider-Man's thing. Yeah, he doesn't really do like you see him standing on buildings, you might see him, I don't know, like jump from one building to the other, but he doesn't do the crazy uh, grappling hook stuff that he does in the movie. Ah. Uh... Either because they were trying, either because of budget or just trying to be more realistic, I don't know. Because it does feel like a very gra gra <coughs> grounded in realism. Like, and yet we're talking about a guy whose ears are like a freaking radar. Yeah. Actually... But it's kind of, I mean... Okay, so that's not exactly how it works for deaf people, but... I, it's kind of been exaggerated, I think. It's like, there's other sensors are heightened, just not to that extent. Uh, also, didn't he get, like, chemicals? Yeah. Uh, Better living through chemicals. Some pretty... pretty fucked up stuff happens on that show. <laughs> like, uh... people die in really brutal ways. Oh, so it's like Game of Thrones. Yeah, that... Or Attack on Titan. Or, What's up with all the shows where people die in brutal ways nowadays? Or that was that rhyme. Yeah. Or Future Diaries, which has a blind character with radar-like ears. That show, that show is fucked up too. Yeah, I know. What's with all the fucked up shows nowadays? Of course, that show like it took a, it takes a little bit before it really starts to get that. Have you noticed that? It's like, it's, it doesn't start out all that graphic or anything, but it gets more up there as it goes. I wonder if that was an intentional choice, like it's reflecting kind of the state of mind of the main character. Speaking of state of mind, one of the cool things they do in, uh, in um, Daredevil, and you should always do this when you're do using flashbacks, a flashback shouldn't just be the character's doing something and then he's like, oh, this reminds me of my childhood, and it goes back, and that childhood memory has nothing to do with the present. Like, in Daredevil, it's like, 
he'll, he'll be like, like, for instance, he'll get knocked down. He'll, like, get knocked down to the ground, and then, like, he'll have, like, a, a flashback, and it's, like, his father who gets knocked down in, like, a boxing match or something. Like, they always find a way to interconnect what's happening in the flashback with what's happening in the present. Ah, so it really does remind him of stuff. Yeah. It's, that it would actually remind a real person of. Yeah, it's not like, it's not like, oh, this is hard. I'm having a hard time. I remember what I, what happened when I was a kid. It's like, wait, what? Yeah, it's not like Professor Layton where it's like, hmm, this thing reminds me of a, of an abstract puzzle I once solved that has nothing to do with the plot. <laughs> it's like, why? I'm gonna take my phone and my plug, and I'm gonna plug my phone into my phone. Wait, what? I can't wait until the new type of USB cord have completely replaced this old type. Because the new type, it's the same on both ends, so you don't have to put it in a certain way. It's truly Universal Studios. I mean, truly Universal. Orlando. Charging iPhone. <coughs> Charging Excuse it up. Me. Awesome, awesome, Kit Doctor. Machine shows bots. Hey, awesome. Fuck that game. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the most random things I don't you've know. ever it said. It just popped into my head, and it's like, and I just felt like saying it. Well, we are fighting machines. Yeah, <laughs> but still, it's like, dude, this game has way more class than that game. Blasty blasty! And you die! Ow! Come boomalated! I'm gonna get a bring on back. Ow! I looked over to what you were doing and it was like, I looked away from the screen! Whoa! Dude! Did we get a replay on that? That was crazy. That was crazy close. <laughs> I think I I don't think I timed that jump very well, or maybe I did. I, that looked like you should have gotten hit. Oh, tell me about that's why I screamed. Dang, look at all their close calls. <laughs> you like landing right in between those lasers. Oh. So. I'm excited for ukulele. <laughs> oh, yes! Don't you mean Banjo 3? No, yeah, it's Banjo 3 without the banjo or the kazooie. <laughs> There's gonna be DLC after the launch, too, thanks to the Kickstarter funds. Sweetness! And the original and the original rare staff, they got so many people back from the original rare, and they're trying to recreate the original um, creative process that rare had. It's like, oh gosh, rare's back! It's finally back! And Microsoft's like, what are you talking about, Mark? Rare never left. They're right over there. Connect Sports. Fuck you, Microsoft. <laughs> it's like, you are not rare. You are a mere shell. You are an empty shell of your former self. The spirit has left the body. It has given up the ghost. It has been reborn! So, a uh, little baby like I shot it with a bullet and then it came back without its clothes, except its underwear? No, it's funny. It's funny that. For Capcom, was like, no one wants Mega Man nowadays. Mighty number nine. No one wants still Castlevania like Symphony of the Night nowadays. Uh, the cre creator of Castlevania, rather, is working on a Symphony of the Night like game. No one wants Banjo Kazooie with regular banjo gameplay. Ukulele. 
How many times do we have to do this before you AAA publishers figure it out? <laughs> is it really that nobody wants it? Or is it that you haven't been providing it? And by the way... Oh, <laughs> actually, you know what? This reminds me of that Simpsons episode with Homer's brother, the car salesman. Oh, yeah. It's like, this is the problem with you people. You're telling people what they want instead of asking them. <laughs> and I know that was meant to be a joke, but honestly, that quote really does apply. Oh, my th I just, whenever I think of that episode, all I think of is the ending where Homer's car, where they show up Homer's car, and it's the most ugly thing imaginable, and it has all this stuff, and it's like, wait a second, how much did it cost to make this car? And it's like, millions of dollars, it was like, I'M RUINED! <laughs> it's like, oh gosh. But... Seriously, though, don't you feel like game publishers are trying to tell us what we want yeah. instead of actually trying to... I mean, sometimes uh, us okay. gamers don't know what yeah. we want, but um, like we're actually 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, I just wanted to finish it up by saying that you should ask... I think there has to be a balance. You should ask customers what they want, but there's also, like, niches and stuff that sometimes... You need to, like, take a chance and try a new, like, different genre or something that people had no idea they wanted in the first place. Like Splatoon. Like Splatoon. That huh. game that's sitting over there that we probably... Let's, you know what? We should probably play it right now. After this is done. Right now! Yes. But you guys will have already seen that because of posting times and crap. Yeah. Play it now. Splatoon. <laughs>